Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple RTS camera, or really any camera that allows you to have a bird's eye view. So firstly you're going to want to create a folder which I've already done, and we're going to create a new demo level, so we'll just call it demo, and we're going to go into there and populate it with various items. So we just got a cube and put it zero and expand it a bit. We can then add a light source, so it's going to select a directional light. And now we've got a cube which we can see on. And I'm, I'm just going to select a few assets I have, so I'm just going to use palm trees and place them in the level a bit, just so we have something to move about. So after that, we're going to have to create our two um, objects. So firstly, we're going to want to create a player controller. So we're just going to search that, select this as the parent, and we're going to call this RTS controller. Then we're going to want to create a pawn. So we're going to call that RTS camera. And then after we've created those, we need to go to world settings. We need to select a game mode override, which allows us to change the default pawn and whatnot. So it just has to be um, greyed out. And then we can just select our RTS camera. And then here we select our RTS controller. And if we go in, you'll see we can't do anything. So I mean, it's working fine. After that, we have to select our RTS camera. We actually need to add a camera here. You can add other components later, like collision. The first thing we're going to have to do is use our inputs. So to do that, we have to create five variables. So firstly, it's move up, move down, move, move left, move right and is right click. We want to compile and then we want to do something fairly tedious where we need to get all the button inputs. So just event A and we need to go down and we need to find the A button. Then event D, go down at the D button. We need to get that pair and move them off. Then we need to go event W, go up, and select the W button, and then event S, go up, no, we're down, sorry, we'll go down, and then we select the S button. After that, we need to we need to basically turn these on and off based on whether they're pressed or not. So move up is tied to W, so we know we don't want to get it. We want to set it. So we're going to copy and paste that. And when it's pressed, we set it on. Then we want our move down. We do exactly the same thing here. We're doing exactly the same thing for all of them. And then we're going to have our move right, our D. Of course, this is assuming you want to use WASD. You can, of course, use the arrow keys to do exactly the same thing, but for them. And now that's done. Of course, that won't do anything. So what we want to do is we want to get at the event click, and we want to add add actor world offset. So this will move the actor around, and we're going to select sweep. So we could add collision later, and we can make a vector. This allows us to compose it. But in between that, we want to rotate the vector, and we're actually going to want to do something funny. So firstly we want to so we want to make this rotator. Then we want to get actor rotation. And then we're gonna break this. And we'll just connect the Zs up. Why we're gonna do this is such that we can rotate the camera around with our mouse later, but it will mean that any other rotations we apply won't actually affect us. So you know, we can rotate around on a single plane, but we won't rotate up and down whatever when we use our, when we move forwards or back, it'll be much easier. So then for the X, for the X, it is move up and move down, which are the pair variables. So we want to 
first of all we want to we actually this is very complicated so we need to multiply them by the delta time then we want to multiply by 600 or any other number in that similar range depending on how fast you want the camera to be then you want to multiply it by these two not multiply sorry subtract so the reason we're going to subtract is so that when the variables are subtracted from each other they um, they will base it will basically just be like if one's if up is on then yeah we'll move up and if down is on we'll just move down it'll be but it's a very easy way of doing it so then we can move that along there and just copy and paste all the code put in for the Y and then we can select our move left and move right and you just got to hope kind of you know you pair these up correctly the correct way around so you can see you can move backwards and forwards and right and left that's the most simple part part of it the next thing we need to want we need to do is we're going to have to have the rotation so we're going to have right mouse button and we can do exactly the same as we did for the other buttons so we'll just select these two and this will allow it so when we're clicking the right mouse we can actually rotate around so we're going to have a branch here of course there are slightly other ways of doing this and we'll get this variable put into that and we're going to for this we're going to add a add actor world not offset sorry add actor world rotation put that into there and then we'll just make rotation here and we will get mouse x and we can put that into the z value and if we come out here we can see that we when we're pressing the right mouse button we can move around but when we're not we cannot so that's good however we can't zoom in or out so what we're going to have to do is we have to pull this out in fact we want to put more code in here it's just a lot needs to do it that way so this time we're going to add actual local off rotation sorry we need to do this such that when we do move it out it doesn't actually interfere with any of the other rotation so again we're just going to make and this time we're going to get get mouse wheel axis we can put it into here so this will mean that when we're in here we can move we can rotate to look down and to look up of course you might want to bound this and that's completely possible I can perhaps create another tutorial which shows the more complicated aspects of this. And then finally, you want to get get this again and multiply it by a negative number. It has to be negative, and I'm going to go over at minus 100. Um, but of course, you can do whatever number you think is necessary. And you put that into there. And so that means that when you zoom out, you move your camera out as well when you zoom in you go in and these are just these is the basic way of doing this and of course there's much more complicated things you can do you can add a collision by the collision components and i can if it gets popular if it's popular enough i can show you all the additional elements